Welcome to the operational procedures tutorial. This tutorial will guide you through the recommended operational procedure applicable to all reduct pipeline mapping systems. The following assumes that both ends of the pipe are accessible. For the purpose of this tutorial, a DR4 system fitted with a WU0820 wheel set will be used. Also, the DRW560 electric winch is used. The probe measures the shape of the pipe. In order to reference this shape to a coordinate system, XYZ coordinates at entry point A and exit point B are required. To obtain optimal results, Reduct recommends the following standard operational procedure. While in logging mode, insert the probe into the pipe in the forward direction, and line up the tail of the probe in line with the known endpoint coordinate. Mind you, the endpoint coordinates can be taken at the top, center, or invert of the pipe. Then, with the probe laying absolutely still, observe a 30 to 60 second calibration period. Now, the probe can be pulled to the B end. Stop the probe exactly in line with the B end coordinate. Again, a 30 to 60 second calibration period is observed. Next, the probe is pulled backwards to point A, followed by a calibration period. Now the probe is turned around and reinserted into the pipe. After another calibration, it is pulled to point B. From where, after a calibration period, it is pulled back to point A, where the final calibration period is observed. In summary, the recommended standard operational procedure yields four individual measurements. Two in each direction, with the tool's nose in the opposite direction. If these measurements are highly repeatable, an estimated accuracy of the pipe's location can be deducted. We refer you to the tutorials for extraction and X view to obtain the profiles of the measurement. Setting up the pulling winches correctly is essential to obtain optimal results. When possible, align the winch in a direct line with the end of the pipe. Then, immobilize the winch to keep it from sliding. To mount the motor, make sure the woodruff key on the axis is aligned with the slot in the motor. When the motor is fully mounted, place the lock nut securely. The winch is now ready for use. The probe must come to a halt exactly in line with the end of the pipe, which is typically where the reference coordinate is taken. To forewarn the field operators that the probe is nearing, it is recommended to mark the pulling rope at each side of the probe at an interval of 1, 2, and 3 meters. In addition, a marking at approximately 10 meters is recommended. To switch the probe on, remove the protective cap manually.
Insert the control unit. And press the on button. If, after switching the probe on, you hear two beeps, the green LED is on continuously, and the red LED flashes twice intermittently, the probe is in login mode and ready to map. Remove the control unit. Close the protective cap, and proceed to the pipe. If, however, you hear continuous beeps, the green lad flashes four times intermittently, and the red lad flashes continuously, the memory of the probe must be cleared first. Consult the extraction manual for the clear memory procedure. Now it's time to perform the measurements. First, connect the pulling cords to the front and rear of the probe. Make sure you insert the probe in the forward direction. Ask your field partner to slowly pull the cord. When the probe is lined up with the A-point coordinate, ask him, or her, to stop pulling. Once the probe is laying absolutely still in line with the starting coordinate, inform your field partner that calibration has commenced. After 30 to 60 seconds, inform your field partner that the probe is ready to go. Although a constant speed is not required, Reduct recommends to pull the probe at a gradual speed of 1 to 1 and a half meters per second. When the markers appear, gradually slow the speed down and stop the probe exactly in line with the B-point coordinate. Inform your field partner that calibration has commenced. After 30 to 60 seconds, radio that the probe can be pulled back for run 2. Again, when the markers appear, gradually slow the probe to a halt in line with the A-point coordinate and inform your field partner calibration has commenced. After calibration, remove the probe from the pipe. Turn it around and reinsert it into the pipe. Then, the process of pulling it to the B point and back is repeated. The recommended four runs in the forward, backward, backward, forward, sequence have been completed. The probe can be retrieved from the pipe. Terminate the logging process by pushing the stop button on the control unit. The data must now be transferred to the PC for further processing and quality assessment. We refer you to the extraction tutorial for the next steps. This completes the tutorial for the operational procedures.
If you have any questions please contact your local distributor, or send an email to info at rida.net.